Chương trình này được bảo trợ bởi Family Joy tổ ấm y tế của mọi gia đình 714 898 0765 Hi, welcome to the OC Health and Education Show on Little Saigon TV. I'm your host, Julie Yip. To us, OC stands for our community because we believe that our community is stronger when we come together. So that's why we thank you for joining us each Tuesday evening and on Wednesday morning on Channel 56.10 on Little Saigon TV. As you know, this is a bilingual English and Vietnamese program dedicated to educating, empowering, and inspiring our community. And hopefully on the show today, we'll inspire you to give back and also to be a part of our upcoming OC Toy Drive. Julia, kính chào quý vị khán giả. Cô Little Saigon TV trong chương trình kiến thức y khoa gia đình và xã hội. Chương trình đây là chương trình song ngữ. Julia hy vọng mỗi tuần chúng tôi sẽ đem tới cho quý vị thông tin về kỹ năng để cho giúp cho cộng đồng Việt Nam của mình. Hôm nay Julia muốn giới thiệu cho quý vị The OC Toy Drive. Đây là cái một cái partnership của OC Autism với SSA House OTE and với Sports Basement về các uh, rất nhiều các bạn ở trong công vườn cam của mình hôm nay. Uh, thank you guys for coming here. Welcome to the show or welcome back to the show. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Julie. Thank you for having us here. We're excited to talk about our event coming up um, and hopefully bring all the spectators and, and just make the kids proud this year. Well, in introduce yourself. Well, sorry. My name is Ben Tran. I'm the owner of SSA House Automotive. We're located in the city of Bellflower, California. Uh, what we do there, we specialize in a lot of uh, exotic and overland rigs that we built over at the shop. Uh, we've been partnering with uh, Julie OC Autism to run these uh, toy drives, and this year we're continuing to follow with our partnership and, and, and do more shows. Well, you know, Mike, he doesn't need an introduction, but, you know, I know you've been working with him and also with Guy many years, and I believe this is the fourth time you guys are doing, yes. you know, these, these gatherings. But thank you so much for your partnership and for choosing OC Autism as an organization to work with. Uh, thank you for having us. Um, so I manage SSA uh, House and also a president of OTE. So what we do is uh, we're you know family oriented. Uh, we adopted a off road trail, wow. and we do once a month uh, trail cleanup and you know give back to the community. And with this event, we also giving back to the community and helping OC Autism. Um, I have here my buddy, co-founder of OTE, Guy. <laughs> I'm Guy Hashimoto, and I'm uh, the founder of OTE, which is Overland Trail <laughs> Enthusiast. And uh, what we actually do is, um, like Mike said, we adopted a road up in Big Bear. It's about uh, close to 10 miles and we uh -huh. maintain it, uh, clean it, uh, clear the drains and everything. But uh, Overland itself uh, got big during the pandemic because everybody just wanted to get out. So now uh, we have about over 1,500 members uh, in our group now. Well, it's such a pleasure to have you guys back on the show, but also, more importantly, to have your friendship. So I appreciate you and your trust and, you know, all the amazing people that you bring together and just to help the kids. So I just want to say thank you so much for always being there for us. Yeah. Um, Julie, muốn giới thiệu cho quý vị một lần nữa là OC Toy Drive, đây là cái bằng OC Rigs and Exotic. Đây là ngày, uh, ngày 8 tháng 10, Chủ nhật, lúc 10 giờ sáng tới 2 giờ trưa trong thành phố Fountain Valley. Đây là tại Sports Basement, là cái, um, cái, cái Fries Electronics hậu xưa đó. Thì Julie muốn một, một lần nữa giới thiệu cho quý vị cái chương trình hôm nay về cái quan trọng tại sao mình cần hợp tác nhau để cho giúp cộng đồng. You know, all the times when we uh, talk about community work, we can't do it by ourselves, right? And I think it's so important that, you know, as I introduce the show, I always remind people that to me, OC is not just Orange County. OC is our community. I know you guys are my community from LA and we've got people from all over the country even coming in to participate. So tell us a little bit about, uh, ben, what does this mean to you as far as helping the kids? Because I know you're your fa your father yourself. Yes, I am a father of two kids. Um, for me, it's um, more like giving back and kind of be a role model for my kids. Um, let them know what I do so they can hopefully continue the legacy of what I do and give back to the community. Um, it, it's something that I feel like um, a lot of younger generation now they, they lack of mm -hmm. like uh, the value right. and I think this brings a lot of value to my family and I want them to carry on with it yes yeah. and, and then you know like you you know guy action means a lot right a lot of people are gonna say hey you know I want to help out 
But I know you and I are like, okay, but are they actually doing it? You know, yeah. and I love that, you know, SSA and OTE and all of our friends that we're going to introduce today are jumping into action, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah. So tell me a little bit, Guy, what does it mean to um, bring the event to Orange County this year? Well, our previous uh, events we had in the Inland Empire and uh, City of Industry, so uh, we wanted to do a little change. So we said, oh, we'll come out to the OC. And um, our partners at uh, Sports Space who was, was happy to hear about the OC Autism and, and what we're all about. So uh, they, they held us with open arms and said, yeah, come and use our facility. Well, thank you so much. Now, now um, Mike, when we talk about um, doing this event for the kids, there's a lot of moving parts. And there I are. know you have a huge responsibility <laughs> to kind of wrangle all of us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, it takes a lot of work to um, help manage and get all the vendors yes. and, you know, all the uh, equipments and whatever we need to make this event happen. So... Well, thank you so much for doing this. À, thưa quý vị, hôm nay Julie muốn giới thiệu cho quý vị trước nhất là anh Bình Trần. Anh Bình Trần, Bình Trần is actually the um, owner of SSA House. Đây là một cái trung tâm để cho cho um, sửa xe, mà đặc biệt là cái xe Exotics and Rigs, cái xe rất là xịn và mà mà cho nên quý vị có cái xe Exotics ham muốn đầm chỉnh cái xe chất của mình để cho được là làm off roading là đi đi qua cắm trại đi xa cho vui thì uh, liên lạc uh, SSA House ở kế bên anh Minh á, là anh anh Bình á, là là anh Mike anh Mike là một cái người manager của SSA House mà cũng uh, một trong hai người uh, sáng lập ra là OTE đây là Overland Trail Enthusiast trong cái mùa Covid giống như anh Guy nói đó là cái uh, hỏi đây là cái băng tổ chức đây là nó 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 mở rộng ra cho rất nhiều người hiện tại là có hơn 1.500 cái um, cái member trong cái hội hội OTE mà Julie thấy đó là quan trọng nhất là không phải là cái cái đây là cái trung tâm mà sửa xe không không phải là cái trung tâm để cho đi cắm trại chung mà thiệt ra là một cái partnership trong cộng đồng để cho luôn luôn giúp giúp cộng đồng giống như mình nói đó mình phải làm mẫu cho con mình thì trong cái tương lai mấy con mình mới có cái um, cái cái um, cái future nó tốt đẹp hơn you know I think it's really important like like you said Ben that you know you want to be a role model for your kids yeah and you know Mike you, you know the first time I met you and Guy too you know Mike brought his kids over yeah. and this is when we, we were doing some um, like I think it was a lighted up blue event in April oh, yes. and yeah. that's when we partnership with Pyrrhus Group right. you know I mean Pyrrhus Group's another partner with OC Autism and we're all amongst friends and that's yeah. what I really love that in our philanthropic work that we're able to do a good thing but also make new friendships along the way Definitely. how cool is that mike that's really cool <laughs> so do you see the, him as your boss or as your friend or, or what is it <laughs> i see him as a friend <laughs> more of a friend family oh wow instead of a boss because i know when i come to to ssa house it does feel like a family yeah we're yeah. eating together we're hanging right. out together and and the, the the conversation is very different but i know you guys have that um trust in him as a leader and the boss yes, of course <laughs> <laughs> now guy Tell me this, what does it feel like to continue to have to deal with me for another year? Oh, it, it gets better every year, Julie. It gets better every year. You're only being nice because we're on camera, right? Yes, I'm trying yes. to put you on the spotlight. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but no, really, uh, in all serious note, what does it feel like to work with your friends and your family and to continue to be able to give to the kids? Yeah, it, it makes it even more heartwarming, you know, when when your friends are there to back you up right. and, and whatnot, and, and we don't have to worry about each other. You know, we all know what to do already. So, um, yeah, it makes it it makes it real smooth. Well, thank you so much for guys for being here after the commercial break. We're definitely going to learn more about the upcoming. Uh, I always say o, you know, OC Toy Drive, but it's our OC Autism Rigs and Exotic, a time for all of our friends to get together and gather. But also, it's going to be a hollo ho I mean, a Halloween theme. For the kids so they can come in costumes and they can do a little we can do a little trunk and treat for everybody yeah, right so yeah. I'm, I'm so happy that we're creating opportunities for people of all ability especially those with autism and other disabilities uh, một lần nữa chú muốn cảm ơn quý vị khán giả của little saigon tv đã theo dõi chương trình kiến thức y khoa gia đình và xã hội Julie muốn um, giới thiệu cho quý vị đó là oc autism rigs and exotics mà cái đây là không phải là một cái um, cái fundraiser cho 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 OC Autism mà cái toy drive mà thiệt ra tạo cho một cái cơ hội cho nhiều các bạn à, hợp tác nhau để cho giúp cho cộng đồng. À, Julie muốn à, mời cho quý vị tới tham dự đó là ngày 8 tháng 10 đó là chủ nhật từ 10 giờ sáng tới 2 giờ trưa tại Sports Space bên trong phần thành phố Fountain Valley. Cảm ơn quý vị.
Chương trình này được bảo trợ bởi Family Joy tổ ấm y tế của mọi gia đình 714-898-0765 Hi, welcome back to the OC Health and Education Show on Little Saigon TV. I'm your host, Julia Yip. Today, it's a great opportunity for, for me to introduce you, my friends and our partners in the community. We want to create an opportunity and, and also inspire you to gather, to come together with your friends to make a huge impact in the world. You know, um, OTE, SSA, and now Sports Basement with OC Autism are coming together to help kids with disabilities but also more importantly for, for what I do and what we do in the community to create an environment and a, and a, and a community that is more inclusive and inviting. Julie Mung, Yip Mung, uh, cảm ơn quý vị khán giả của Little Saigon TV. Julie Mung, uh, giới thiệu cho quý vị và mời cho quý vị tới tham dự uh, cái OC Autism Rigs and Exotic. Cái chương trình đây là không phải là cho, cho mình tạo ra câu hỏi cho uh, mình, mình gây quỹ cho OC Autism để cho giúp cho mấy trẻ em À, trong tương lai mà thiệt ra mình tạo ra một cái câu hỏi cho nhiều các bạn à, hợp tác nhau để cho giúp cho cộng đồng quý vị muốn uh, Julie muốn giới thiệu cho quý vị anh Bình Trần Bình Trần là SSA House Minh um, anh Mike Ân và anh Guy Hashimoto bữa nay là, là Julie muốn hỏi cho chi tiết thêm cho mình hiểu tiết là cái chương trình là Ocean Autism Rigs and Exotic là có thông, có cái gì cho quý vị oftentimes you know in the in the Asian American community when you have a familiar face I think it makes it very inviting You know, OC autism is, is it helps people with disability, but a specific niche with the Asian American community. Mm -hmm. I know cars bring the Asian American communities together, and that's a, it's a great, um, you know, friendship, isn't yeah. it? Um, it's not just the Asian community. I think, I believe cars brings all walks of life together right. and for one common ground, which is the cars, right? So cars is like an easy way to kind of make or, or, or break through a road path and just mm. evolve from there, right? So I, I feel like the cars are more like just, the hub for us, and then we kind of explore from there. That's awesome. You know, I think that's one thing about it is we have a common interest. I think it brings us all together. Mm -hmm. Now, Mike, when we do this event, what should we expect for the Rigs and Exotic event? Oh, well, it's going to be a lot of, a lot of people, you know, walking around. You're going to have a lot of vendors. Um, there will be, there'll be food vendors as well, so people can just enjoy the day. Um, you know, with the kids and vendors, some of the vendors will be passing out candies for the kids. So it'll be family oriented and people can shop at Sports Basement. It'll be open to the public and, you know, there'll be a nice discount for them too when they attend. <laughs> Now, Guy, when we say cars, what, what, what should we expect? What kind of cars? Oh, wow. Uh, I think we're going to have a, a big variety this year. We're going to have uh, exotics and I think we're going to have uh, muscle cars and uh, um, JDM cars. So we're gonna have a we're gonna have a a, a, a huge assortment out there this year. So uh, like uh, an off-road truck. Yeah. No, oh, an off-road truck. <laughs> <yeah. laughs> I forgot about that. Just a, co a co-founder of OT, you forget about <laughs> off-road trucks. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Now you know, as far as uh, coming to the events, all the cars that are coming that are exhibiting, they're there for a, a one cause to help the kids. So what are we expecting for everybody to come when when they're coming? What should they expect as exhibitors? Um, well, we're, uh, everyone that's exhibiting cars, we're asking for a um, uh, $10 unwrapped toy uh, to help you out during your um, Christmas uh, big party. So that's what we're asking from, uh, from everybody. And um, yeah, yeah, we're going to have, it's just going to be a, a, a huge uh, day. Um, we're going to have uh, entertainment. We're going to have DJs out there. So it's, it's going to be something for the whole family. And sports basements, uh, they're dog friendly, so they let, <laughs> let you bring your dogs in, inside oh. the store. Well, thank you so much for sharing that. Uh, quý, quý vị, chú nước quý vị có thời gian ngày 8 tháng, tháng 10, đây là Chủ nhật, từ 10 giờ sáng tới 2 giờ trưa. Uh, quý vị tới tham dự được đó là chừng nào quý vị có cái exotic car, hoặc cái off-roading car, hoặc cái mô tô, mình tới mình tham dự cũng được, đó là exhibit. Mỗi người mà tới tham dự đó thì, thì mình mình khuyên mỗi người đem một cái quà cho cho mấy em à, cho lúc mà mình mình tổ chức cái Christmas event cho một mình 5 ngàn người cho 1.500 mấy trẻ em. Cái hy vọng của mình đó là mình được um, collect 1.500 đồ chơi cái bữa đó. Chứ nào Julie nói đó là chừng nào mình có 500 
exhibitors thì mình có thể được 500 cái quà. Chứ nào mỗi người cho hai cái quà thì có thể mình được 1.000 cái quà. So I was just saying, you know, if we have 500 exhibitors, for example, yeah. we're looking at getting motorbikes there and, you know, our, our, our group, our friends from Punishers are going to be yeah. there. Our friends from Two Wheel Crew, those are the bikes that are motorbikes that we worked with in the past. Yeah. They're excited to be a part of it. And I, I just mentioned to them, I said, most of the time when they all ride up in their bikes, They've got a, they, they straddle a little toy behind them. <laughs> and a lot of times they're coming from the Inland Empire or from Fontana or San Bernardino or from LA and just all over. I know our friends from Punishers, they come from Arizona too. Yeah. Wow. So it's really cool for us to do that because if we're possibly expecting, you know, about like 100 bikes and maybe 400 rigs and exotics, if everybody brings one toy, we'll, we'll get 500. Yep. If everybody brings two toys, we'll hit, we'll, we'll be, get out a thousand, yeah, right? Yeah. But if we get three, we'll hit our mark, yeah. right? So there's not a, a, a forced requirement of how many they bring, but at, as when they're coming to the toy drive, we want them to, to contribute and make sure that they get excited about it. And, you know, they're going to have also an opportunity to see the kids. Right. You know, Ben, we're, we're going to make it a Halloween theme. Yep. So what does that mean for your kids? Are they going to get dressed up? And Mike, are your kids going to get dressed up? And is your dog going to get dressed up? <laughs> your kid. <laughs> they're, they're excited for a lot of candy. So ah. That's what we want. Are, are your boys, are your, your, your four-legged no, kids dressing up? I think it's going to be a long day. So I think I'm going to keep them home. And, so daddy's so, working. Yeah. Yeah. OK, well, I just I, I don't mind babysitting. And <laughs> Auntie Julie loves the boys. But are your boys coming? Well, I don't know. I've got, I have one boy and girls, yeah. you know. So, but yes, you know, when, when I, I think on a day that we're giving back, sometimes it is hard, yeah, you know, to bring our kids. Work. But All then, right. you know, we can bring, I can bring my baby's daddy to take care of him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes. I'm sorry. Like, like you said earlier, you know, OC stands for our community. And for us, it takes like a whole community to, to work together. It's like a team, right? Yes. Uh, a lot of stuff that happens on the back end, it takes a full team. And with Team Loan, there is no I in team. That's why we have everybody here as a team work together, right? So yes. Team to me is like together, everyone achieves more. That's why we're bringing all the community together and achieve that one goal is generate uh, funding, charity donation, uh, toys for these kids. At the same time, it, it's a great event for, for the Sunday afternoon to stroll by, yes. something for the family to do. And it's a good feel good, right? You know you're doing something good for the future for the, for the kids, right? Yes. So that, that's why we're, we're behind this organization. Uh, with OC uh, autism. Well, you know, I, I like that we're there for a good cause, but I know Mike has a lot of food truck lineup. Yeah. So yeah. there's going to be good food there too, right, good Mike? Good food and good drinks. <laughs> good drinks. <laughs> good drinks. Good drinks. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, that's one thing about it. There's actually something for everyone. Yep. You yes. know, and I, I know um, Guy and I talk a lot, you know, and Guy knows kind of the history behind OC autism. I struggle to get toys, and there are years that I don't get the toys that mm. I need. And I'm crying, thinking that I'm on close OC autism. And you guys are like my angels to me. Oh, I, because I you heard, don't let me fail. Yeah. <laughs> I heard um, SoCal Misfits from San Diego is coming down with a few truckloads of toys. So they'll, well, they'll be down here. You know, if we collect more than we need, we're just going to give pass them and then <laughs> give it to the next organization and help yeah. our community. That so, But good. thank you so much, guys, for being here. No, thank and you for your having partnership us. and your friendship. Um, after this, co the commercial break, we'll meet the other part of the crew, right? right. Yeah. <laughs> There's, there's a few other people that couldn't make it today, um, like uh, one of our great partners and friends, uh, Jason from Trail Wolf. Okay. He's always been backing us up, and every time we need something in this community, he always helps out. And vice versa, we help him out too on their events too. Yeah. Are there anybody else that you want to highlight for this event or make sure we, we, we give thanks to? Yeah, I want to give a big thanks to Sports Basement, Ryan and Rich, for, for opening the doors for us and let us use your facility. Uh, greatly appreciate that. Well, we're going to get to meet them after this yes. program, right? Yes, awesome people. <laughs> Good looking ones. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Guy? Who do you want to thank as we um, send you off and meet the new crew? Well, uh, Sports Basement. I mean, uh, I'm good friends with, with Rich, and uh, uh, we were, we've been talking, and he, he said, well, let me introduce you to, to Ryan that's in charge. And, and once I told Ryan, I mean, that from that day, he, he open arms. He said, OC Aww. autism, okay, well, let's, let's do it. And there was no looking back. Well, thank so you. So I want to I uh, thank Sports Basement. Thank you again. Uh, Julie, muốn cảm ơn quý vị khán giả đã theo dõi chương trình kiến thức y khoa gia đình và xã hội. Hôm nay mình muốn uh, giới thiệu cho quý vị đã là OC Riggs and Exotic trong thành phố Fountain Valley. Uh, sau phòng quảng cáo, chúng tôi sẽ học gặp thêm uh, Sports Basement. Đây là anh Ryan với anh Rick, với một người đặc biệt đã là anh John Etheridge. Cảm ơn quý vị khán giả của Little Saigon TV.
Chương trình này được bảo trợ bởi Family Joy tổ ấm y tế của mọi gia đình 714 898 0765 Hi, welcome back to the OC Health and Education Show on Little Saigon TV. I'm your host, Julie Yip. In the first segment, we were able to meet the organizers of the, of the toy drive that is from SSA House and OT in collaboration with OC Autism. In this segment, I want to introduce you to you more of our community partners who's going to ma help make this a successful event to help the kids with disabilities and also create an opportunity for all the car enthusiasts to come together for a cause. Julie muốn cảm ơn quý vị khán giả của Little Saigon TV. Một lần nữa, Julie muốn giới thiệu cho quý vị cái chương trình đây là ngày 8 tháng 10, Chủ nhật, từ 10 giờ sáng tới 2 giờ trưa at Sports Basement trong thành phố Fountain Valley. Cái phần trước thì mình có giới thiệu cho quý vị SSA House OTE và cái partnership cho mình làm việc cho hợp tác nhau cho giúp cộng đồng. Phần đây, Julie muốn giới thiệu cho quý vị cái More Community Partnership đây là Sports Basement với một cái người bạn thêm nữa là anh John Etheridge. Trước nhất, uh, Julie muốn uh, giới thiệu cho quý vị um, thêm cho mấy mỗi người trong ban tổ chức. Um, once again, you know, welcome to the show. I know you're able to watch the first half and now it's your turn to take the stage. Welcome, Ryan, and everybody to the show. Thank you, Julie. Thank you for having us. So tell us a little bit about yourself, Ryan. My name is Ryan Brocklow. Um, I'm a Fountain Valley resident. I work for Sports Basement. I manage the community uh, engagement and marketing for uh, Sports Basement. Um, have two kids and um, just love having a, you know, having a role where I can be involved in the community and partner with events such well, as this. Well, thank you so much for being here. I, it means a lot to us to have, you know, the, the first SoCal location reaching out to us and also making sure that we have a partnership to help more of organizations in the community. But welcome to the show and tell me a little bit about yourself. Hi Julie, thank you. Uh, my name is Rich Koshimizu. Um, I'm actually the ski, man, uh, ski repair manager over at Sports Basement. What drew me to the company is they approached me and it's their first location um, to the community. And what's nice is they're not just a uh, a sporting goods store that just opens up. They're more of a community-based store, which we reach out to the neighboring community to work along with high schools, the, you know, any clubs, and, and of course, your foundation, the uh, OC Foundation Autism, that we want to do and bring people in and bring them together. I know you, you said to me that your title is Ski Repair Manager. Yeah. I know what you do in the community is beyond ski repair. Yes. You know, because I think that, you know, being able to have your friendship with Guy and Guy being our mutual friends, you know, now we can have an opportunity to talk badly about him when he's not around. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny. Guy and I uh, grew up together. We grew up in high school. And okay. we still keep in touch, you know, with our families and things like that. So when he approached me and asked me to, uh, you know, I know your new store, you know, you do community things. Would you be interested? And I said, oh, absolutely. That's what we're about. You know, so I put him in touch with Ryan, and uh, that's where it started, and it's starting to be a good thing. And we hope in the future things that it'll turn into an annual event, you know, which is kind of nice. We as well. Yeah. Thưa quý vị khán giả của Little Saigon TV, một lần nữa, Julie muốn giới thiệu cho quý vị. Trước nhất đây là Ryan Broccolo. Ryan Broccolo là một người senior marketing cho sports basement trong thành phố Fountain Valley. You know, I just want to remind them that you know, sports basement is not just a place where we can rent gears and buy gears for our sporting needs, but really it's an organization that gives back to the community, whether it be high school organizations or nonprofit organizations. And I think that's one thing about it is, you know, I was also, through you guys, was able to get to meet John. And, you know, I know, John, you wear so many hats in the community, but today you just want to simplify that title to just community partner. <laughs> Tell us sure. a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name is John Etheridge. I'm a 20-plus I'm a year Fountain Valley resident. My wife and I moved back here in 20, in, in the year 2000. I actually grew up here. I went to Fountain Valley High School in 1985. So I'm deeply committed to the community of Fountain Valley and just about anything that means something to our community. Um, they say, uh, one of the old adages you hear all the time is it takes a village to raise a child. Well, in the case of kids with special needs, that takes a lot of villages all at once. So I'm happy to partner with organizations like the Kiwanis Club of Fountain Valley with uh, the, the Fountain Valley Chamber of Commerce. I serve on the board of directors for Fountain Valley Regional Hospital. So I'm, I'm honored to, to serve in, in many capacities within the city and I'm super glad to have partners like uh, Sports Basement 
uh, here in town to, to help with things, things like that. Well, you know, thank you so much um, to all of you for, for being here. I want to ask you, why are you participating in this event? Because, you know, as we uh, work with the city of Fountain Valley, they're so gracious enough to make sure that, you know, we pass all these inspections and make sure that we can serve in the community. Because OC Autism in the past has done many events in, um, in the city of Garden Grove. And, you know, it's exciting to move over and, and start a new event in the city of Fountain Valley and have you guys being here to represent the city as residents, but more importantly, as community servants. Mm -hmm. So tell me, why is it that you think this partnership is so important this year? Well, community outreach is at the forefront of what we do at Sports mm. Basement. And it's, um, you know, to me, it's the best part of my job to, you know, to be able to partner with OC Autism and, and bring an event such as this Riggs and Exotics event to, um, to Sports Basement. It really is, um, you know, and knowing that it's going to help out so many kids in need. Um, to me, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's an honor for us to do it. Um, we have, you know, we have the ability to have, you know, we have the real estate and space to yes. host such an event. Um, and I'm grateful for Rich Guy, all of, you know, all the team, um, you know, for, you know, for you guys partnering with us. So it's, it, you know, it's, it's great. And um, anything we can do to help out, that's, you know, at the forefront of what we do um, at Sports Basement. Well, thank you so much. You. you know, Ryan says something about this is a real estate and it's a big venue. So those, for those of us who know Fountain Valley area, tell us about what, what location did Sports Basement replace, Mr. Yeah. Rich? We took over the old Fry's Electronics. Right everybody knows of, where that is. Uh, right off of Euclid. <laughs> I mean, everybody knows where that building is and you drive by it every day. You know, it's like, oh, Fry's Electronics. So you know where it is, you know. So now they look at it as this big green building. And so we stuck out like a sore thumb. And people who have come by notice um, how big the, they turned it from electronic store to a sporting goods store, 80,000 square feet of sporting goods. But I know you were part of that development crew to set this place up, right? Yes, we, Was it easy? No. <laughs> <laughs> we started back in last July and uh, we had a construction crew come in, but a lot of us spent a lot of you know, time and sweat building all the racks, putting wow. all the furniture together, and just um, scrubbing the floors. I mean, I drove a <laughs> Zamboni, which is like everybody's ice skating rink dream to drive a Zamboni to scrub the floors for eight hours a day. That still doesn't sound like a ski repair guy. <laughs> no, but, but thank you so much for really, you know, going beyond the, the titles and going on be what you need, what you've been assigned to do to really create an environment and a space for people to, you know, play pickleball and mm. to gather and to meet. And, you know, I know that when, when I was able to meet you, you always said, oh, Julie, well, if you guys need a place to have a meeting or a gathering place for the kids to come and play, you know, or a social group, thank you. I just want to say thank you. It's not just an extension to OC Autism, but it's really an extension to the whole community. Mm -hmm. uh, Julie, mong cảm ơn quý vị đã cho Julie có thời gian uh, giới thiệu cho quý vị đã sports basement với John John Etheridge because cái đây là mấy người bạn mới mà đã, đã cho hợp tác với cộng đồng của mình. Quý vị thấy đó là sports basement nó không phải là một cái cơ quan uh, bán đồ hoa trăm mướn đồ cho sport, sporting good mà thiệt ra một cái um, cơ quan muốn giúp cho cộng đồng của mình tạo ra nhiều cái câu hỏi cho nên quý vị muốn có một cái chỗ địa điểm nào để cho hợp ha để cho chơi về pickleball ha mình có cái gì đó vân vân cho cái um, hội của mình thì có thể mình liên lạc sports basement họ có thể giúp cho quý vị Julie muốn cảm ơn quý vị khán giả của Little Saigon TV sau phần quảng cáo chúng tôi sẽ hiểu chi tiết hơn về cái chương trình um, gần đến đây Chương trình này được bảo trợ bởi Family Joy tổ ấm y tế của mọi gia đình 714 898 0765. Hi, welcome back to the OC Health and Education Show on Little Saigon TV. I'm your host Julie Yip. It's such an honor to introduce to you Sports Basement, the first SoCal location um, in, 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 in all of you know, Southern California. And I know it's the first one is in Fountain Valley. And we wanted to uh, for you to watch an intro video so you can learn a little bit about what they do in our community. Hi, I'm Tom. 
Over the past 17 years, Sports Basement has meant a lot of different things to a lot of different people. Great brands, cheer squads, free beer, and excellent staff. Throughout it all, we've made two key commitments, to save you money and to serve our local communities. Now we're taking that commitment to a whole new level with our Basement Tears program. When you become a Basement Tier, you'll get 10% off everything. And then 10% of profits will be donated to your favorite local charity or school. We do better, you do better, and our local communities do better. Become a Basement Tier today and everybody wins. Now, Ryan, I know we just were able to watch that video to introduce the community what, who Sports Basement is, but can you tell us a little bit more about what to expect when we come to this place? Because all we know is this big green building. Sure. <laughs> yes, Joey. It's, um, we're, uh, our location is um, almost 80,000 square feet. We're the uh, 12th location. We have 11 up in the Bay Area. So this is the 12th location of Sports Basement, first in SoCal, wow. as you mentioned. Um, we have... Um, we have we do everything whether it be from cycling to camping snow sports to fitness um, we have a full service bike shop over 200 250 bikes full service ski and snowboard shop which rich wow. here runs um, we have um, you know i think we have every, we have everything for you know for the outdoor enthusiasts um, but as as we mentioned you know community we have two community spaces community hubs um, you can rent them out free of charge for any of we've had pet adoptions, we've had PTA meetings, wow. we've had this coming weekend, we have a sports card and collectible show, we have Pickle Fest next Sunday, and then obviously on the 8th, we have our uh, Rigs and Exotics uh, with Osiata. So all kinds of events, but um, you know, we'd uh, love for you, if you've never been there yet, please come by and check it out, and we have something for everyone. I think that's a great opportunity that, as you know, when we do the, um, the, the toy drive on the 8th, it's a great opportunity for people to give back to the community, but also um, to see what Sports Basement is about. Because I know we didn't mention earlier that, you know, for everybody who's going to shop that day, you're also going to give an, a, a really huge discount. How much is that again? It's 28% if you're a basement tier wow. wow. and 20% um, as a non-basement tier. And it's good off of um, almost anything in the store. And it's um, our discount stack, so even some of the sales we have. So wow. very generous discount, um, some great deals to be had. So. And I know 10% of the purchase that day is going to also go to OC Autism. Correct. OC. So, Yep. Thank you so much. I think it's a great opportunity for us to share with our community, you know, all the amazing things that you guys have planned for Southern California. Mm -hmm. uh, thưa quý vị, hôm nay Julie muốn giới thiệu cho quý vị đó là Sports Basement. Sports Basement có 12 cái địa điểm. 11 cái địa điểm đó là trong um, uh, Bắc Cali, ở cho là trong chỗ Bay Area. Đây là trong Nam Cali đó, mình có là first location trong thành phố Fountain Valley, đó là chỗ Fry's Electronic cũ. Giống như anh Rich nói đó là cái location đây là 80 ngàn square feet rất là lớn mà không phải là một cái chỗ um, cơ quan là bán đồ hay cho mướn đồ cho sports good, sporting goods mà thiệt ra có địa điểm để cho quý vị muốn uh, có gặp nhau hợp nhau cho cho cái organization của mình với cũng cho mình mướn đồ để cho mình đi chơi nữa uh, Julie thấy rất là hôm nay là mình có hân hạnh được giới thiệu cho quý vị cái partnership trong cộng đồng của mình mà Julie cũng muốn giới thiệu cho cho quý vị một lần nữa đây là uh, anh John Etheridge anh John Etheridge là trong một cái nhóm làm cars Uh, a cars and Cops trong thành phố Huntington Beach. Đây là ngày um, 14 với ngày 15 tháng 10. Uh, ngày 14 là cái launch launch party để cho mấy cái helicopter nó, nó, nó vào. Uh, mà ngày 15 á, là từ xa, uh, 8 giờ sáng tới 3 giờ trưa là mình có một cái car show. Đây là cái địa điểm mình được, được thấy rất nhiều helicopter với cũng có rất nhiều cái xe đặc biệt. Um, John, you know, I just wanted to make sure that people know in addition to the toy drive we're having on the 8th, at the sports basement where we're trying to collect toys for kids with disabilities. There's also another um, event, and it is a fundraiser for it the is. community. So tell us a little bit about Cars and Copter. So Cars and Copters is a is a the brainchild of the, the Huntington Beach Police and Community Foundation. Yes. And they raise money for, for essentially the things that the city doesn't cover for our police force, uh, not only in Huntington Beach, but in surrounding communities as well. 
Uh, most people don't know that the, the air support division of the Huntington Beach Police Department covers Newport Beach, Westminster, Fountain Valley, wow. parts of Santa Ana, you know, parts of Garden Grove. So it does cover, the air support division covers a lot of area uh, as, far as, as far as the police force goes. So uh, we raise money uh, for, those, for those issues uh, through cars and copters. It's a fun event. Uh, the it, rigs and exotics that are coming up, it, the, the, the beauty of having a partner like Sports Basement for something like that, you mentioned real estate, right? right? It takes real estate to have a big event, to think big. And I think um, not only the team at Sports Basement, but the, the SSA house guys, they're thinking big, right? They wanna, they wanna make a big impact in the community, uh, especially the, the OC autism community. So I'm, I'm thrilled to, to partner with them and to give any help I can. I, I don't know. They, it seems like they have it pretty well under control, but I'm happy <laughs> you know, to, I just happy love to that. You know, team. everybody that's been coming on this show today, you guys are, are leaders in the community, but you guys are so humble. And it just feels so easy to work with. And I feel like, you know, I got more brothers on my side to protect me. So thank you so much for being there. And I know that, you know, the things that we do in the community, you know, it reaches so many people. And especially when you're doing cars and copter, you know, it's impressive when you're seeing helicopters, you know, in a parking lot. But I think, you know, beyond the, the facade, mm. there's just so much heart behind it. Mm -hmm. And that we are protecting and serving the community. And as you said, multiple communities that extends beyond Huntington Beach. Because mm -hmm. I'm in Garden Grove. I see a lot of helicopters when I'm out, I'm in my jacuzzi. <laughs> sure. Well, we'll have, we'll have uh, 12 helicopters wow. at the landing party. Uh -huh. uh, we land the helicopters in between Huntington Street and the walking bridge in the Huntington Beach parking lot. The Huntington Beach Beach parking lot. So it's it's pretty incredible to watch. And then we'll park 350 or so exotic cars in the parking lot around those helicopters the next day. Obviously, we don't land the helicopters with the exotic cars there. Right. Sandblasting <laughs> and exotic cars do not I match. don't think they'll be happy. No. But, you know, I think that's the thing about it. You know, the, one of the reasons we wanted to reach out to you because you're the, the voice of wisdom. You've done this before. And I think, you know, as we, <laughs> you know, but, you know, we, we, we know we've done, you've done this before. You've, you've had more rodeos than we have. And, you know, once we do this event, I know that, that as, as you mentioned, Ryan and Rich, that we hope it to, it to be an annual event. You know, we want to support your event as for you to come to our event because, you know, it's our community, as you mm -hmm. mentioned. It's a village, mm -hmm. you know, and for us, those of us who serve the, the disability community and even the senior community, we want to create an opportunity for people to come out and come out and play, mm -hmm. but also, you know, to work on their mental health. Because sometimes, you know, people don't always talk about mental health, but I always see um, the car guys and all these enthusiasts as a support group. You know, it's a men's support group sometimes. Mm -hmm. And the ladies join too. So, but I think it's, it's such a great thing that, you know, when we find something that we all can, can come together, it gives us a reason to go out and reason to, to interact with everybody and also to give back to the community. Uh, thưa quý vị khán giả, hôm nay Julie muốn um, giới thiệu cho quý vị đây là John Etheridge. Oh, John Etheridge làm rất nhiều việc trong trong quận cam của mình. Mà một cái việc mà mà một cái chương trình gần tới đây đó là cái uh, Cars and Culture trong thành phố Huntington Beach. Đây là ngày 14 và, và ngày 15 tháng 10. À, ngày 14 là, là kêu bằng là cái launch party. Là đây là at the Waterfront Hilton uh, Hotel. Chứ nào mình, quý vị muốn um, donate ở đóng góp á là cái vé là 255 đồng mình thấy là rất là rất, rất là nhiều mà thiệt ra à, giống như cho nói đó là cái fundraising đây giúp cho um, Huntington Beach PD especially the air unit là không phải là là, là cho service thành phố Huntington Beach không mà Newport Beach về mấy cái thành phố kế bên giống như Garden Grove luôn thì Julie thấy đó là cho nên quý vị muốn tham dự à, cái cái car show là là miễn phí đó là ngày 15 từ 8 giờ tới 8 giờ sáng tới 3 giờ trưa gần Huntington Beach Pier À, Julie muốn giới thiệu với quý vị và mời cho quý vị tới tham dự cái uh, OC Autism Cars Rigs and, Exo I mean, Rigs and Exotic đó là ngày 8 tháng 10 trong thành phố Fountain Valley tại Sports Basement. Tại Julie thấy đó là trước nhất mình làm cái cái uh, bike để cho bike show để cho mấy bạn để cho um, donate và quà cho mấy trẻ em. Mà sau đây mình hợp tác với SSA House về OTE hiện tại với với Sports Basement and then anh John Etheridge mình mở rộng lớn hơn cho giúp cho cộng đồng. À, thì Julie muốn cảm ơn quý vị đã theo dõi chương trình Kinh thức y khoa gia đình và xã hội và chúc cho quý vị có một thời gian tới tham dự chương trình đây và luôn luôn chúc quý vị rất nhiều sức khỏe và may mắn. Cảm ơn quý vị khán giả của Little Saigon TV.